Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel part two uh, in this making of my grungy journal. Um, I've just come across, I've been up all night brainstorming ideas. I printed out this old antique map on a piece of canvas um, which I coax through my printer so carefully and I'm just going to finish ripping that because I want it to look I want it to look really ancient which it does because it it's a <laughs> it's an antique map map but I thought if I just tear the canvas Um, I was going to just dre I, I want to I want to have to color the back of this because I thought I want to sort of curl up the corners if I can and I thought I just it just occurred to me a minute ago I not that I've seen any maps of antiquity but either spray stain I'm thinking or acrylic paint and I'm thinking acrylic paint might give it a really lovely leathery type texture because I'm I don't know I'm not an expert but I'm uh, somewhere in my mind I'm thinking maybe those really old maps um, were printed on like half skin and stuff which I guess they probably would have been wouldn't they You got to you got to come away with a little bit of inspiration from all the National Geographic things I watch on telly, surely. So that looks that looks so, and it feels oh, it feels so yummy. Anyway, I I remembered I remembered last night about midnight. This is what this is what we've done so far. I have covered a book in uh, antique laces that I've slow stitched together and I grungied it up now that's really grunge which I've always really wanted to do it's kind of like I feel like I'm extending myself I feel like I'm yeah uh, going out of my comfort zone a little bit I, I love vintage I haven't I adore, I adore everybody's work that does grunge, but I've never actually done grunge before. So this will be Daisy's take on grunge. But I had this in my stash. I've actually cut this and that was, oh look, at that took me a good 10 or 20 minutes just to figure out that, yeah, it was okay to cut this. It's about a 150 year old hand embroidered. Look at all the ribbon work, so it's nice and textural and I think it was a table runner but I didn't like oh, this is just so grungy I wanted to put something on top of this to break it now how did I just have that and I I don't want it dripping all over the place if you know what I mean because I've got I've had to tie these back and clip them, but they're my they're my closures, so the closures will be tied over here. And then I thought I'd like a little bit if I move the netting closer to the edge and wrap it around. Just put it on, drape it a little bit horizontally. like so then it'll have a pretty spine it'll have it'll have its own little spine which I think will look really sweet but that means I'll have to I'll have to glue that in place because that's I'll have to get a I'll have to get a curved needle if I if I stitch it but that's just you know that's artist's choice isn't it so then I thought, well, I really want to layer up the front. I've seen so many artists over the years 
with the frills and the laces, the shabby chic and the grunge, and it's all so wonderfully layered, and and that's that's what I'm trying to emulate. So, I've tried all, all manner of things, but I bought an old clock the other day from the reject shop. It's only made of plastic, and I took it apart because I really wanted to watch hands. <laughs> So I thought this, and then I went through my jewellery and I found this gorgeous brooch. So this is what I'm going for. So it'll be very, very 3D. And it will help to secure this in place also on top of all the other fabric. And then I thought, where is it? I need to get a backing for the frame because it's so uneven underneath there. So I thought if I can pad that out and also I thought make make a secret envelope behind, why not? I don't know how easy it'll be to use but it'll be there, won't it? So that gives it a little bit more stability. I thought I could put some wadding in there. If I angle it a little bit and then to hide all of that I could put a canvas a map because this is the image I'd love to go inside the frame this is this is what I'm thinking this is what I'm thinking at the moment sorry can't see what I'm talking about um, right so and the silver in the frame and the silver in the brooch look a million bucks. Then if I can somehow artificially I'd have to come down a little bit in size. Because I do want it I do want it to see it's been a map because I'm thinking this is obviously a lady who has traveled or the family has gone across the oceans to set up a new life and it's a lovely keepsake book of um, of that I might have to put a bit of a little bit a tiny little bit of wadding underneath that so that it it'll level it out but that's what I'm thinking so far now I just got to make it happen Right, so now the question becomes, do I stain the back? I mean, it's canvas, artist canvas, so I got it just out of my canvas, um, as I paint as well, so I just took it out of my canvas pad. Uh, or do I acrylic paint it on the back? I love the feel, it won't change the texture, what will look the best and what will be the best to manipulate if I can try and tear, tear these corners a little bit and angle it, I don't know what to do, so many choices, spraying's going to be the quick, oh yeah but that's neither here nor there. I mean I can just see that and because that's going to be curled somehow we are going to see that and I don't want the white of the canvas I think I've got some oxide coming which might be the best because I ran out of the walnut distress stain the other day but it's not going to get here for a day or so. Don't have to make any decisions straight away, do I? But I do like to get the cover sorted because I went on a coffee dyeing rampage. <laughs> right. Rampage in the nicest possible word, and um, 
then that's just as a result of me staining things with the walnut ink. The copy date. Oh no, that's just a bit of cardboard. French book page. I just went and got some extra stuff. I've got a nice square doily that's already been coffee dyed. Some old music. I coffee dyed these and did some, some copper ink splatters on those. That's another... That's another old doily that I've distress spray stained. It'll make a nice pocket. I did a bag, which was good because I thought on the inside covers, I thought I might do these, one front and one back of her family, perhaps a brother and sister. And if I could do a bag behind each, that's a ready-made, that's a ready-made pocket. But I've only got one bag, so I might have to scout around for that. But that'll be like a cabinet card on a... Oh, sorry about the glare. It'll be like a cabinet card. They're actually vintage photo frames, and I've distress dyed them with a bit of weathered wood and a bit of walnut. They're just the book covers of an old Reader's Digest, which is done. So, yeah, I did lined paper... I did index cards, I did some old envelopes, that's a bit of craft, um, a craft envelope, which was already a brown, but I thought, well, I'll give it the treatment as well. And then all these scrumptious papers, we had 33 degree heat, and so it was perfect day for drying them, and they're really grungy. Yeah, so I'm ready to do the signatures. And so I like to do the cover and then I can get a feel for what I'm doing so that the theme or the, the idea translates all the way through. So it's good, it's good to feel excited about a project. I've been in a bit of a funk the last week. And I've got to give credit to Sharon at, you know what she called? I just became a subby. Uh, she was doing some tags with wax. So she was doing something grungy and then I, I, I binge watched her channel. Wow, she was so inspirational. I'll give her credits in, in the description box because once again, once you start filming, you lose all, you lose your words. You lose your mind. <laughs> yeah, so I've got that for the inside front and back covers, which they're the Tim Holtz portrait ones, which I only recently acquired, the lovely shop in Port Macquarie while we're on holiday. And yeah, and she's from there as well. I've just sprinkled a little bit of distress oxide to... to... The only thing too, I'm thinking, she looks... They, they, they're real shiny and they look they don't look old and antiqued enough I don't think so the trick is to I don't know what I've done with it now uh, is to get some sewing some nice old yellow uh, sewing paper and mod podge it over the top that's not that's not quite old and or yellow enough, but and then that will vintage them up even better. And I want to use the wax melt. So I used to do a lot of the wax melts on paper, and um, after watching Sharon, I thought, yeah, I need to do that again. It's so good when you get inspired by people, um, because yeah, everyone's doing Christmas at the moment, and I'm not. I don't know why I'm not, but I'm just not, so. Maybe because it's 33 degrees and, I don't know, I get kind of jealous of, of everybody in the colder climes. I do. I want, the, I want the dream of a white Christmas instead of our tropical, tropical Christmas, but. I guess all the people in the north are hoping for a tropical Christmas once in their lives. <laughs> oh. 
over Christmas over reindeer and sleigh envy. I don't really know how true that or how realistic it might be. I guess in the winter time there's coals and too much snow and how many people have actually had a sleigh ride in the snow. I don't know. But in my mind, everybody who lives north has done that. And of course, I love all those pictures of snow, snowy fences and post boxes. And actually, I could have left those on, couldn't I? This is a great idea. I, I've got to do more of this printing on. I've printed on fabric before, but I really oh, I've got to be careful with my Epson printer because it's it's so wonderful I do not want to stress it or cause it any kind of aggro so I was kind of like saying my prayers holding my breath touching wood guiding it through so please please let it go through please I won't I won't ask again and we got there so I was so happy because I really was going to put it through again on the other side and I thought no you got away with that don't 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 push it okay so the decision what to do I think I'm gonna have to I think I'm gonna have to use the stain I have to use the stain and then I can use maybe to get it to curl I wonder if I wonder if heat would curl that Oh, I wonder. It's certainly got the potential. Oh, that's going to look great. Yeah, that's. Gonna, I don't think that's going to need much much help at all. Just needs to be aged up a bit. Well, I could use. I could just use some um, vintage photo on it. Where's the little scrap and let's have a go. I'll just put this to the side. Let's do a little test piece, shall we? I'll use vintage photo. Just see what happens. That certainly makes it look old and dirty. Don't want anything to come off either. That's actually a distress oxide ink, so that shouldn't theoretically move, should it? Okay, so I get the creak, creak, creak. It's not my bones, it's the chair. Okay, so then if I put this on a little bit. Ooh. Oh, I like it. I like it already. Now, where is it? Paper towel or something to rub that in. I've been up since 6 a.m. this morning. I was so excited I couldn't sleep. Plotting and planning and. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, I'm really happy with that. That's made it that's made it look really old. I like that. Okay, so shall we try out the I've got a brush close. Yes, I do have a little brush. I just can grab some gold. Is this Some gold acrylic paint. Oh, that's a bit fancy, isn't it? I mean, obviously you don't have to use gold, but I'll just see how that. Maybe some um, 
umber, some raw umber. I mean, the canvas, after all, is designed for paint. Hmm. Actually, that would that would look really pretty in the gold turned over in the corner. Hmm. It's so textural. Okay. You know what? I'm really liking the paint. It gives it it gives it a softer That is that is the go, I think. That is the go. Yeah. Doesn't that look nice? Woohoo, I don't even mind the gold actually. Okay, right, decision made. So let's bring this bit in. And I am I'm gonna paint the back gold. I like it. I'm a gold girl anyway. And we can always put another we can always put some umber down over the top of it, can't we? a bigger brush would be helpful but I think my baby blues are in water at the back I'm too lazy to get up and go and get them I just enjoy the brush strokes there's nothing like painting to just relax Oh, that's so pretty. Wow. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm, obviously the theme of this I think is is going to be voyages family memories history but I mean I'll fill it I'll fill it with postcards I've got beautiful vintage postcards and um, lots of writing spots secret secret um, hidden tuck spots and things like that. I mean, when I'm writing, I like those things. I love the fabric flips in my journals. Actually, oh yeah, I, I must start writing. I must start journaling again in, the, in that beautiful blue velvet one I made for myself. I've been downloading, actually, I, I'm a member of one of the historical societies in the town where I grew up which is not where I am now, but um, we used to go to church at St. Peter and Paul's Cathedral in Goulburn and all my friends, you know, got married there over the years and so forth. And uh, it meant a lot because we I went to school behind it on the campus. It was Our Lady of Mercy College and um, in Goulburn. New South Wales, beautiful town, regional town, and uh, so many memories. Anyway, they've just redone after I don't know how many years they've been working on it, but certainly more than a couple of restoring it inside. And oh, it's beautiful. Anyway, I thought in my journal, there's so many memories that I have associated with that cathedral that uh, I really would like to get a picture of it. So I was able to 
download some pictures and and I'm seven hours north no seven no more than that probably ten hours north so it's not like I can drive and take a take a picture myself and put it in my journal but yeah so many wonderful memories it was taught by the the nuns uh, the uh, sisters of mercy they were they were great wonderful memories it was a boarding school too and my my grandmother uh, and great grandmother had been boarders they'd been uh, boarders at that school and so I don't know it was just made you feel so proud to go to the same school that they'd gone to because I was a day pupil because we lived in the area I always felt sorry for the boarders they always complained that you know there was never enough to eat <laughs> and they they had to but I think I think they yeah I don't know but I always felt sorry for them anyway A lot of them came from wealthy landowners, country girls. And sadly now we've we lost so many and when you when you don't live in the same town that you grew up in you you lose you lose track, don't you? Life just goes in a different way and I think I left when I was 16, we moved, so that's, that's pretty young and then, you know, you can imagine as you get married and have your own children and make new friends and at other schools and wherever you end up working, but yeah, good days, great town. beautiful people lifelong friends really all the friends of my parents were our friends and um, sadly they're all they're all dying now my mum and, my mum and dad both died when I was 74 far too young they weren't drinkers smokers they'd been married for over 50 years you know what a shame But anyway, I was lucky to have them for as many years as I did. That's getting oh, that's getting a bit maudling. Change the subject, otherwise I'll start crying. And we don't want that. It's ugly crying. Am I crying? Okay, right. Okay, that's that looks so beautiful. Oh god, you can't get enough gold. I love gold. <laughs> yep, that's me. I love gold. All right, well I'm just going to pause you cuz I'm going to go and get a coffee, my second coffee of the morning. Look out. <laughs> then I'll even be more chatterbox. Oh, I bet you can't wait for that. Okay, <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Right, I'm back. Coffee in hand. Look at the way that's curled. That is just what we want. But we probably want it to curl the other way. <laughs> but doesn't that look delicious? I wonder if it's too I wonder if it's too bright. Well, maybe I should just dry that off a bit, maybe. Yeah, see now I'm doubting myself. I'm thinking, yeah. It certainly doesn't look like, doesn't look cold and grungy, does it? But then again, you're only going to see little bits. Hmm. 
Now I'm not. Now I'm thinking. Yeah, that's far too. That's far too gold. What's that's good. It's not coming off. I wonder if I. I better get some raw umber. I'll. I'll be back in a tick. Right. That was quick. I'm back. Um. So I've got burnt sienna, which I'm leaning towards, and burnt umber. So, got a little bit of my petrol, my coffee. And then let's see maybe if I just concentrate on the corners anyway because the rest will be underneath the let's just have a look and see what happens shall we there we go I have no idea what I'm doing here. I just thought I'll put a little bit of the darker down. I want, I want a bit of the gold to shine through. And then I thought if I get a little bit of the, what's this, burnt sienna. I love this colour. And... Uh, mold it all into one oops oh why did I do that for crazy I'll have to use that for something else okay the best way to use my paintbrush Perhaps that, perhaps that spray stain might have been a better idea after all. Right. I think I need to take some of that off now. First we put it on, then we put it off. I think it was a fashion show. Right. Oh, that looks a bit better. I like. What do we ever do without baby wipes? Tell you what, all I probably need to do now is get some uh, sand 
and we'd probably <laughs> then we then we could be like um a for a forger of antiqui antiquity documents oh my lord actually that would have been my ideal job oh god to work with the queen victoria oh no victoria and albert museum oh and restoring and conserving things <gasps> In my next life, if I'm lucky enough to come back, um, I would love to do something like that. Okay, so that looks that looks really that looks a lot better. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like it. I like it. Okay. So now all I have to do is get rid of this mess and dry, dry, dry. You don't want to hear the, you do not want to hear the dryer. So I will be back in a second. And we're back. Painting, brushes cleaned. This is nice and dried. And I'm, I'm liking it. Yeah, it's not coming off, so it is dry. That's good. Okay. That looks incredible. see the coffee now it's kicking in it's gonna it's gonna make me silly okay maybe ah yes maybe a little tear on the side Just do a little nick with the scissors a little bit of a tear. Oh, that's looking, that's looking better. So we do the same up here or down here. Don't want to, don't want to make it matchy matchy. There we go. Okay. Maybe a deeper one there somewhere. Can I do that? Oh. Oh, Lordy, that was a bit bold. That's, that's looking good, isn't it? I like it. I think we could probably do a little bit up here too. Actually, I was going to do a whole book on um, uh, every page using or canvas. I might do a little I might do a little canvassy type book at some point. Tell you what, it'd be nice it wouldn't it be it'd be really nice and stiff for the um for holding heavy pockets and things. Okay. That's interesting. Still don't know whether I love it, but it's interesting. The only thing I the only thing I'm concerned about is this plastic frame. I could do a cardboardy frame. And 
and the thing the thing that uh, Tim Holtz does some lovely frames Okay, so this would go over that. Should that be straight on, more straight on? And a frame more straight on. How does how does that look? What do we think about that? Sometimes it's better to look at it in the viewfinder. Hmm. I don't know. It's certainly different. Yeah. Well, I wonder without, I wonder without this. Go on the original. Ah, okay. Wow. Do we need the Do we need the brooch? We have the brooch up the middle. Oh, doesn't that look lovely? Yeah, yeah. What a difference. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh, I think I now have a winner. That looks, that looks really, really beautiful. And it certainly does look like a piece of her map that was salvaged. To make this journal about her. Oh, yes, okay. Right, so now all I have to do is execute this. So I think really strong glue is going to be in order. And maybe some padding out underneath the frame. And I don't know how, I don't know how that is going to translate as a pocket underneath there. I don't think it probably should be a pocket actually. Certainly don't need it on the, on the, on the cover. Oh my lordy, I'm so happy with that. All right, well I might leave that there for part two. And then part three will be putting the signatures together. So I'll, I'll come back again and we'll just I'll bring you along on this crazy ride and we'll have fun together. So I'm going to say bye for now and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. See ya.